So the park is next. We also have the campaign quest that I can do next. Let's actually continue with the campaign. So we need to get one of my airships over here. Maneuvering. Very gibbering. And that highlighted blue stuff there is scrap, which is the transmuting items. Yes. Yes, yeah, so they're very fat birds. I dislike it. All that pent up gas keeping them up. There. Clear tracks leading away from the boats. Yep, the tracks here. So we need to follow the tracks. Actually, I'm going to go pick up that scrap while it's actually available. There we go. So, over here we have the fog of war or area that we've not explored. There's more scrap. And as you can see up here in this northern section, On course. A fire broke the up. area that is seen is only where your ship is actually currently. It doesn't stay constant. So when you're hunting, you have to just keep flying around. Okay, so we have the remains of that. Not good. Pick up item. Waiting course. Sir John's log. April 26th. We've been forced to abandon HMS Dixon, HMS Hades. We waited an entire the summer for the thaw. But the weather gods were against us. They still stuck fast in the ice. I'm certain we can find the Northwest Passage by Fort, walking inland. We filled two lifeboats with essential supplies and we'll pull them over the snow like sleds. We next, when next, excuse me, we find water, it will be the passage to the east. Then the lifeboats can row us to safe haven. May 4th. A Jedi? The Mentire. Dragging two lifeboats was perhaps ambitious, so they've been stopped to rest at regular intervals. I've been ordered that all remaining supplies be trusted to one of the lifeboats from now on. Given goes double the pulling power. Despite setbacks, morale is good. And we've lost no men since the beginning on this baffling island. Can they ain't go in straight lines? Why do they have to go so all over the place? Oh yeah, because they're drunk. Forgot how drunk everyone is. Okay, so. We've reached another camp. And we have another set of logs. May 11th. We are at a crossroad. To, excuse me, to determine the best way forward, I sent a team led by Commander H. Sturden through the canyon to the north. A second team led by Lieutenant Commander Ardio went to the snow dunes to the west. The last team, led by Lieutenant Commander E. Couch, was sent towards the Deep Chasms to the east. May 14th. No team has returned. Camp supplies are becoming rather scarce. There's little out here to hunt. I think we've gobbled up those seals the Inuits offered us now. May 16th. Only two of the three teams have returned. I fear the worst has fallen at the couch. A risk we all took the day we volunteered. It is hard out here, cruel, but the rest of us are able to move without delay. The sacrifice will not be wasted if we make it. Commander Sturgeon reports that his canyon tapered to a dead end. Deyo, thank God him, reports something more promising. We will take the path he took. The grounds look too weak for the boat, but I'm sure we'll find something. We always do. So we need to go with Deo, which he went to the west. They stayed here for a time. So for sciences, we'll have a look to the north. This is where the canyons just taper together, as they said. And the other commander that never returned 
went this way you see his footprints and oh dear um well we found them so we're gonna follow the tracks this way now they've gone up here they went up there they went down over here and they are slowly losing people left right and center there we go we can see more people have gone that way again can they not go in straight lines uh, going up this way next okay and we found another camp Altitude stable. Set off a nice smoke. Okay, part three. We've been forced to abandon HMS. Oh, wait. Wrong ones. June 21st. Perhaps the warnings of these Inuits had worth. The ice deserts have been treacherous, and we've lost both men and equipment. I see darkness in the eyes of the living now that their companies, companions lie buried. They don't lie buried, they're just on the top of the ice. If you knew that we were also at the end of our supplies, you might understand that anger. But they are loyal men, and know they cannot hope to survive alone. They will only challenge me if I admit defeat, and that I refuse. A sheer mountain lies ahead. I had to stifle my shock at its sudden appearance, and at the perilous climb we must now undertake. For the morale among the men is already low. I would not appear in my right mind as their leader if I asked them to turn and face the horrors of the desert that we had all thought behind us. No, we climb. And meeting us at the summit, I believe, will be a view upon the shimmering waters of the Northwest Passage, Northwest Passage, that shall sate their hunger. They dropped it all to make the difficult climb. That's fine, we've got more supplies up here, don't you worry mate. One. Okay, so we climbed up here, lost two people, went here, lost a bunch more people, climbed probably up here. Not 100% sure. Either way, oh, it looks like they climbed up somehow. It's now we're going this way. Time to stretch your legs. Right, let's have a look at the next report. June thirtieth. That was the last one. June twenty-first. So nine days later. Lost my best man, Commander Sturgeon, in the mountains. Poor man was too anxious to prove me right. Some made it, but all hunger and desperate. You need shovel footed. Shovel loads of fuel in your belly up here, and we have no food at all. There were grunts and growls at the night. Either we eat the resident bears or they eat us. Yeah. Let me know how that turns out for you. Hopefully, the bears like frozen people. Also, frozen dinners. Okay, so there's. I can see the trails going this way. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And bears everywhere, and people, 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 a fire broke out. and people being dragged into a cave. Yeah, how many people have they lost now? Of yep, speak of the devil, there's another one. Okay, so we're now going up this crag face. And we are still losing people. And looks like there's another note here. Okay, so a couple of days later, Sir John has entrusted me, Lieutenant Commander Remy de Yo, with the completion of his logs, as he no longer has the strength to put pen to paper. Still, there are likely won't be many more entries left for me to write. We are no longer killed by bears, but we have lost two days and weeks in high valleys that all look the same. Having lost our comp compass, we are now only six 
Captain Sir John Faithful, Sergeant the First Mate, Little an Engineer, Hodgson an Assistant Surgeon, Irving a Ship's Boy, the fire and myself. The boy lives because he is a good lad, and none of, could offer, none of us could suffer to eat him. This escalated. The bear meat was never going to last, you see. Sir John did have a swear never to speak of that shame, but who does he think we will tell? Apart from the people that are writing it and the millions of people playing, I know. Well, hopefully they didn't eat the brains because they could get Kuru. And then they'd just be giggling all the way. And shivering and shaking and not being able to control the limbs. Okay, so three days later. Sir John speaks again. He says the silhouette of a great wolf came to him in his sleep and that he wishes to meet us. Oh, God. Our pack is down to three. Sir John... The boy Irving and me, Remedio. We shall remember Sergeant Little and Hodgson. We will remember the others who tripped and fell, who froze, who fell ill, who starved, who went well with tomato ketchup and brown sauce and mayonnaise. Those who drowned, who maimed by bears, who slipped on high, who fell through the cracks and who we just couldn't catch. And we shall remember those who ran out of, when we ran out of you, Drew short straws in vain. The passage exists, we've not found it. But through but though he is mad, I will accompany Sir John to the end. The ferocious shipboy Irving is our guardian spirit, the same who superhuman strength was able to fend off grown men in the snow who were after his legs for supper. Okay. Um, so let's go this way. This is the T junction, and what is this? Wait, uh, there's three of them. Have we? Could we? The people celebrate your leadership. Waiting course. Okay, maybe we can't pick them up then. Dirigibling. Okay, here we go. There, long dead, but moving still. It's the Walking Dead. Amarok spared them so that their story may be retold. True light. True light. They're all dead. Two eight. My oh, impudence too before the gods. We were doomed from the beginning. My stubbornness. My vile, reckless ambition. Mm -hmm. I should have died out there with them. I should have died. Don't worry. You have your lady faithful. Let's have a nibble on her. John! My John! John no more. I'm a phantom, my love. An exile condemned to this twilight plain for eternity. Say whatever you like, John. I did everything I could to find you and have absolutely no intention of giving up now. And she gave us a hundred thousand. I never could argue with you. I am sorry about Sir John. He's had a hard time. They all have. I am ever so grateful to you. And do not think I have forgotten your reward. Oh, God. But for now... How many billions are you going to give me? I must get my dear husband home. You're going to give it loads of money, aren't you? Call it a white lie. Sir John Faithful found. Sir John and Lady Jane reunited. Lady Faithful praises crucial work of Flockle Flickle. That's me. Three heroic survivors have returned to loved ones at long last. Sir John Faithful, decorated for his courageous leadership, claims they partook in Arthurological uh, Velimentary de Denied. Oh, God. Words. 
So. Out the didn't eat thing. each other. <laughs> Gotta be pulling my leg. Uh -oh, too soon. Yay, that's the only thing I like you ever say, Nate. That's a good one. That's a cracker. So that's another pull joke. Yay! Bum, 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 Okay. We should be fine over here, I think. We need to get the airship back over here. We need the airship to go over here. We can pick up our billions from Lady Faithful. You endure where others have not. I promised I would reward you, and now I have. And thank you. Thank you for bringing back my dear joy. Do, 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 do. Thanks. On course. It is good, that item, though. 20% movement speed and loading speed reduction. That's going to be really useful for supplying the ice peninsulas. The great Sir William Perry had to abandon his ship too. HMS Angry Wrath. Angry Weave. Still be out here some... I posit that warming the Arctic will have a startling impact. I grew up reenacting his expeditions in the garden. I can still recite the coordinates of the Angry Wrath by heart. Provide 10 steam motors Progress. and coal. We have that. The people celebrate your leadership. Right, so you yes, want yes. me to go and pick up. So it's over here somewhere. The quest pickup. Hidden under the fog wall. So that is the main, main part of the campaign story. The only thing left out here is the Nate storyline, which is the optional which is to start settling on the icebergs over here and mining the gas. Now the gas is used for two main purposes. One is for building the airships and the second is the gas power stations which you can use in the Cape and in the Old World. They don't need access to rails and they have a slightly increased range on versus a oil power plant. However, getting the gas can be a bit of a pain. What can I say? I'm the giving type. Thanks. Good point. How are you doing? Okay, they could both do with a little bit of a hug and then a little squeeze. Oh, the crane. So let's go and do that now. Also known I as throw money at them. Peaceable. 95. Okay, that's not too bad. You got yourself an agreement. Do, 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 do. There we go. See, out good for and we're back up to 99. Anne is fairly alright at is uh, not getting upset as quickly as Jean is. That should get me up to 95. Yes, it does. And this will get me to 99. Oh, 97. Out. Okay. Slightly less than I thought we would. Now but it's still it fine. Out. We can work with this. Okay, that loading bay got a bit full down for a moment. So, let's have a look out over here. We can start to look at building some extra goods. So we have an obnoxious amount of sleeping bags out here, which is good. We don't need to worry about the caribou. Actually, let's have a look. How are we doing on pemmican? Absolutely amazing. Same with the... Uh, same with everything, basically. We are doing amazingly well. So let's get some extra people in. The only problem with these ones over here is they're going to be falling short of the canteen. Ooh, 
I mean, no, that doesn't actually fit in there. Unfortunately, that is annoying. Can't delete that because I'll delete that road off for that access. Okay, if I delete that then, uh, okay, delete that. Canteen there. I suppose we can, wait, are you fully upgraded? No, we just don't have wood, okay. Ooh, camera. Reporting in. Right, can you get a wiggle on and go and move over some wood? The coal looks like it's going down on this island. Let's have a look. Control and W. And coal stuck over time. Uh, it's kind of going downwards at the moment. Many previous expeditions became lost in the ice. Most were forced to leave valuable resources behind. We could. Oh yeah, sent the uh... an influence bonus. Wait, I have two quests to pick up stuff? What? Oh, God. Alright, bear with me. Alright, you need to pick spinning. those goods up. Oh, this is some scrap from William Perry's failed expedition. Still good for Dead other things. Set. Yeah, good old Nate and his creepy. But there's uh, more scrap out there for all the other failed expeditions. Bring dude, it I was speaking. I'll transmute it. On course. Uh, right. Where do you want me to go? Pick up the lost cargo Ready, here. Set. Ah. I'm very glad old Nate's around. Yeah. His chuckles are contagious. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's contagious about him. Just make sure you have some antibiotics. Antibiotics, jeez. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let me have a look here. Parkers requires seal skin and bear hunting cabins. And those as well. We could do hunting cabins over here, I guess. Does mean we're gonna need a lot more coal coming in though. I mean we have coal. Um do, 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 do. Nice Let me have a look. Can I craft any extra? Cargo boat up the oh, yeah, you're over there just chilling. Let's get a couple of extra cargo ships out over here. Mm -hmm. We're out of uh, engineers now. What can I pause for a short while then for engineers? What do I have an abundance of that I don't need at the moment? Yeah, we'll pause you for a bit. There we go. New orders. So you are going to take coal from here. There it is. Shift click. Nope. Shift not caps lock. And then go to the Arctic and drop that off here. There we go. A fire broke out. I would probably should check. Yeah, we've got a few things uh, kind of burning away here. So we're going to spend a little bit of downtime maintenance. 
don't think oh you're in range that'll help you in range no okay we can build that waiting for you to be put out 35 30 25 in theory these guys should put that out fine let's just rebuild those that's gone boom nothing else has gone boom at the moment good this is an exception so we have you over oh, here mm, mm, mm. what other items can we uh I'm probably gonna need another one of those to be fair um bear hunting cabins we'll take that uh, we'll take that as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. control on t and let's have a look at bear hunting cabins that you not sure the if i have that has been vanquished Okay, so Parker. Parker factory. That. That. And that dude again. Okay, so I'm going to need to send another ship over. Uh, you have wood. Okay, drop that off. And get over here. The people celebrate your leadership. Yeah, we'll take him. And we need the epic one of those, don't we? Um, we already have one of you over there, I believe. Goose farms, don't care about that. We're importing them. Hunting. That is the one we need for the uh, production. We might actually have yeah, everything that I need. Yeah, canteen. We are going to need one of those over here. Can we get one in here? We can when we delete this stupid road. There we go. Oh, those are the cargo ships I was setting up. That's fine. Right. If we build that there, then. We built this city. Out of snow and ice. Boom, boom. So, I mean, I could reserve this area here for the production. So, if I have a look at the Arctic Lodge, Arctic Bodge, where's the Arctic Bodge? Arctic Lodge. Let's just blueprint this in for a second. You can go there. But then, if I was to do. Two for hunting grounds. For bear hunting grounds, that is. One could go here. And uh, we need one there, actually. Shit. Okay. Um. Bum, 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 ba -da -da. Yeah, that would actually work. And then I could actually fit that there. Overlapping radius. Okay. We're going to have to just do production here, then. That's fine, though. That I can actually work with. Getting heat out there is going to be a bit of a pain. But we are going to be starting the Parker production next. <laughs> 